This is not bowling, this is what the stuff. There are rules. Body odor usually starts with perspiration, which feeds bacteria that happen to excrete gross smelling chemicals. Regular bathing and a deodorant or antiperspirant keep most of us smelling so But some body odor has nothing to do with sweating. So trimethylamine is a chemical excreted by the bacteria in our guts that help us digest certain stuff, like eggs, liver, soybeans, peas, and some fish. Those bacteria are great, but trimethylamine, well, it smells something like rotting fish, or urine, or both. Most of us have a digestive enzyme that breaks down the chemical for us, but in a rare disorder called trimethylamineuria, if you're not into that whole brevity thing, your body makes too little or none of that enzyme. The result? You give off a very strong fish-like smell. There's no cure, but avoiding the trigger foods and taking certain supplements can help. Researchers at the Monell Chemical Senses Center found that elderly people have a distinctive scent. They think it's caused by changes in aging skin's glands and secretions. It may have developed to help early humans differentiate between younger, stronger potential mates and older, less healthy ones. On the plus side for old age, the volunteer smell testers in the study rated the body odor of old men as less unpleasant than that of middle-aged men. That's right, spicy foods can cause more than just bad breath. Some spices, like garlic, are metabolized by your body to produce sulfur and other stinky chemicals, which are then excreted through your sweat. And hot and spicy dishes can make matters worse. Capsaicin, the active chemical in hot peppers, can stimulate the nerve receptors in your mouth and trick your nervous system into thinking you're overheating, which in turn makes you sweat more. Treated, diabetes can cause diabetic ketoacidosis, which means that lacking the insulin to regulate your metabolism, your body is unnecessarily breaking down fat for fuel. It causes a sickeningly sweet aroma, sort of like decomposing apples on your breath and coming off of your body. And it's one reason why, when patients seek treatment for body odor, physicians may order blood or urine tests to determine whether an underlying issue is at fault. That's all the body odor stuff we have time for today, but to learn more about some of the conditions that contribute to body odor, from typhoid fever to psychiatric disorders, check out our article, 10 Sources of Body Odor That Aren't Just Sweat, on HowStuffWorks.com. And hey, I want to know, what do you think about body odor? Tell me in the comments. If you liked this video, make it official and subscribe so you won't miss the next one.